Vicious, menacing, frightening are but a few words have been used to describe Carcarius taurus or the sand tiger shark, Rec Denison of North Carolina. With several rows of gnarly pointed teeth projecting from their jaws and small beady eyes that seemingly look everywhere at once, the sand tiger is renowned for being the meanest looking of shark species. In reality, they are a docile and lethargic shark and pose little risk to humans. For centuries, ships have met their demise off the coast of North Carolina. Today, These wrecks have become an ideal home to large populations of sand tigers and are the perfect backdrop to photograph, film, and study this enigmatic shark species in their ocean habitat. Not only is it feasible to safely dive with a sand tiger shark here, it's even possible to dive with dozens of them. There's many reasons why sand tigers actually aggregate, but the reasons are fairly basic. They aggregate in numbers when it's time to feed, when it's time to mate, when it's time to court, and believe it or not, when it's time for reproduction. In addition to that, the shipwrecks provide an area of navigational consistency. These animals do migrate. They do pick up electrical signals from both the poles and underwater objects. So I liken it to the way we use our GPS to get us from point A to point B. They often use the wrecks as a familiar area during their migration routes. Wreck diving off the North Carolina coast draws divers from all over the United States and even the world to experience what it's like to dive with sand tigers in their natural habitat. The sharks range in size from the three foot juvenile to the larger females who max out at a respectable ten and a half feet in length and weighing 350 pounds. The warm Gulf Stream waters push in close to the coast in the summer months creating ideal warm water conditions for divers to experience close encounters with these amazing sharks. Some might ask, who in their right mind would knowingly dive with sharks and why? And For many people it's a fascination, for some it's a fear they want to conquer, for some it's they want to get it off their bucket list, and for others it's just they can't get enough of both the sharks and the shipwrecks. I've spoken to many divers there who love the combination of an ultimate biology and history lesson in one dive. So many people either said I was either really crazy or really brave uh, for, for swimming with the sharks. I don't, I don't think I'm either. I thought the misconceptions had been pretty much cleared up about sharks and, and they weren't, they were not the man eaters people think they are. So it really surprised me to see people having this reaction to me being in the water with the sharks. And um, hopefully with people seeing that I'm in the water with these animals and they're not threatening towards me at all, um, that maybe the, you know, that'll start to change some people's attitudes towards sharks. I've industry for so long, people ask me a lot uh, what my favorite thing about diving is. And I really like diving with sharks because, especially the sand tiger sharks, because you can get up close to them and you can just, it's really calm and serene and relaxing experience. We dive with them every year. People from all over the world come here to dive with sand tiger sharks. They look gnarly, but they're the most majestic creatures. They just sit there and hover in the water motionless and look beautiful. They create a great marine environment for divers all over the world to come and see them. Love them the best. 
shark diving, it's not, you know, a lot of people think that sharks are this, these big angry creatures who are out to get you and they bite anything that moves. And that's certainly not true. They're just these, these big, beautiful, um, ancient creatures that just, this is their environment. We're just sharing their environment. It's a lot of fun diving with sand tiger sharks. Dive operators throughout the world might chum the waters on the dive sites in order to draw the otherwise shy and elusive shark species up close to the divers. There's a different approach to use when diving with sand tigers of North Carolina. The sharks in North Carolina get a big name. Uh, people come here from all over the world to just dive with sand tiger sharks. We don't do any feeding of the sharks to bring them in. They're just there naturally. And so at any given moment, you can be swimming around the shipwreck and there can be, say, five or 50 uh, sand tiger sharks. And so it's just a really cool natural experience that the divers have. Sand tigers, as with all sharks, play a role in our world that is much more important than providing amusement for divers. They are vital in maintaining a healthy marine ecosystem. Sharks are, being an apex predator, extremely important in our environment. You know, they, they're there to remove the sick and the injured and the dead, um, which then keep other populations healthy. Uh, and that goes for everything from a great white eating seals and sea lions to a sand tiger feeding on fish. You know, they're not always going after the fat, healthiest, strongest of the fish. They're picking out the weak, the injured, you know, the ones that you maybe want to cull. So by culling them, it makes the population of fish that they're feeding on going to be stronger. You get better genes, um, you know, but it's just, and that goes down the food chain with all the sharks, you know, without them, there's nothing to keep checks and balances. Kind of think of them as the, the ocean's garbage collectors, trash collectors. And imagine if in your neighborhood, the garbage collectors suddenly stopped coming around the neighborhood wouldn't look very good. That's the same thing with the oceans. You take the sharks out and it's not like another predator will come along and fill its place. A healthy population of sand tigers is not only beneficial to the marine ecology, but it's beneficial to the local economy of the Outer Banks. Because people are coming here to dive with sharks, um, it has a huge impact on our bookings. We answer the phone all day long and people are asking about diving with sharks. And so uh, it really creates uh, dollars for the local economy and for us. When done safely and responsibly, diving with sharks has many benefits. People will get to have a thrill of a lifetime sharing the ocean with an apex predator, and in turn, each will pass on their experiences to others. The many photos and videos taken and stories told will hopefully educate others that sharks are not as dangerous as they are made to look. Not only do sand tigers aggregate around the wrecks, but as you're about to see, on the wreck of the Aeolus, 25 miles south of Moorhead City, the sharks took up residence inside the wreck. With predictability for more than three seasons running, a gathering of sharks has been seen repeatedly swimming within the ruins of the Aeolus. Even the frequent visitation of scuba divers did not chase them away. The presence of these sharks created quite a stir in the North Carolina diving community, where divers coined a new nickname for this wreck. Club Aeolus, North Carolina's coolest shark lounge. At times, it gets a little crowded inside the wreck, but that doesn't seem to bother these sharks. They are acclimated to the presence of divers and do not startle easily, even in these confined spaces. It does indeed seem like it's a, a shark lounge 
uh, of sorts. And I, I do believe, in a way, it is. I think that they have find that that particular wreck and the, the conditions that they can kind of escape into offer them an additional buffer zone from everything from the normal non-stop you know, noise that, that the ocean provides. It gets them away from any currents. Uh, it gets them into clearer water, I would imagine, for, for the most part, until it, people go in and stir it up, perhaps. Um, I would venture it might even be a degree or two warmer inside there than, than the sur surrounding waters, sort of like going into the hot tub for, for, for a moment or two. At times during the summer months on the Outer Banks, cooler, greener waters may move in along the ocean bottom with warmer, clearer waters atop. Santayus can often be found swimming above this thermocline with dense schools of baitfish swirling around them. When this occurs, lucky spectators may get to enjoy a mesmerizing display of these mirrored fish as they dance around the sharks gently swaying in the waters above the wreck. think that the smaller fish would seek safety from the large apex predators and not swim towards them. In actuality, this is exactly what these cunning fish are doing. By huddling with the sharks, the bait are finding shelter from the hunting jacks and the tuna circling the area. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer might be their motto. I think it's another example of animals seeking out protection and realizing that there isn't much safer place than having a sand tiger as your bodyguard. Uh, the bait fish really aren't large enough prey items for the sand tiger to commit the energy needed to chase them, feed them. He, he or she will certainly get a mouthful of them, but again, it's, it's not worth their time. Although many have a natural interest in sharks, not everyone has a desire to dive with them in the open ocean. Here's where aquariums step in and play a vital role in reaching out to the curious public who want to learn more about sharks and see these amazing creatures, but from the comfort and safety behind the glass. The North Carolina Aquarium of Pine Knoll Shores is a state-of-the-art facility with one of the largest shark tank displays in the world. It is here where tourists come in the tens of thousands a year to see the sharks up close in their simulated ecosystem. Sand tiger sharks are a great shark species for us to exhibit here at this aquarium as well as many aquariums around the country. Sand tiger sharks swim very slowly, so you, you have a, a good chance to see them as they swim by the window. They're very laid back. And they also have a very toothy grin, which a lot of people like to see all those teeth. Due to their ability to live in confined spaces, sand tigers do rather well in captivity. 
and with their non-threatening nature, it makes them an ideal species for aquarium divers to swim with them side by side in the tank. So we really enjoy, as divers here at the aquarium, uh, going into the exhibit, looking through the window and seeing the expression and the excitement on our visitors' faces, especially our younger visitors. Uh, sometimes this may be the, the first time they've ever seen a scuba diver in real life. Uh, sometimes it's the first time they've seen a shark in real life. And then you've got the two of us together, scuba divers and sharks, uh, in the exhibit on the other side of the window. So that's the part that never gets old, no matter how many times you've been in the exhibit, uh, seeing our visitors' faces and seeing those expressions of, and excitement. By coming here to the aquarium and actually seeing these animals in captivity and getting a chance to see them up close through the window, uh, I think a lot of folks uh, get, a, get a much bigger appreciation for these animals. For some young people, their aquarium shark experience can have a profound impact on their psyches. It is here, at the glass, where future scientists, divers, and researchers are born. Some of you may still think diving with sharks is unsafe. However, when a human encounters a sand tiger in its own territory, who do you think is more frightened, the diver or the shark? So, so the sand tigers, they can, um, when they feel threatened or startled, they can turn in a dime, complete 180, and in a blink of an eye, be gone. Loud tail, you can hear the tail slap in the water, you can hear the jaw pop sometimes, and, and they'll rock it off. And a lot of that is a defensive mechanism with sharks, or any animal, you know, they're, most of them would rather run than fight. The wreck of the Carib Sea, located on the east side of Lookout Shoals, is a favorite haunt for sand tigers, probably as long as the wreck has been there when it was sunk by a German U-boat in World War II. The only problem is, at times, visibility on the Carib Sea may be as low as 10 feet. When Mother Nature brings in warm, clear water and the current is running, the sharks assemble in mid-water, where they effortlessly hover, allowing the moving water to oxygenate their gills. If divers are lucky enough to be there when this occurs, they are in for a rare and special treat.
indiscriminate fishing practices in the 1980s and 90s have caused sand tiger shark populations to plummet around the world. A protected species since 1997, it may be making a recovery off the North Carolina coast, although this is based on divers' accounts rather than solid scientific data. I think it can be said that the conservation efforts enacted, I believe, in 1997 to protect the sand tiger and to limit the amount uh, recreational fishermen were allowed to catch has had a an impact in allowing the population to begin to replenish and just the amount of scuba divers that are trying to find sharks has actually increased compared to let's say in the 70s when there were very few people who would venture into the water intentionally trying to find a shark. So I think you've got more eyes looking so therefore more eyes are finding. Whether that's telltale to a population growth, I'm not willing to go that far because there's still more people that would like to kill, process, or eat sharks exponentially compared to those who are out there trying to save them. Safely diving with sand tiger sharks is a perfect way for humans to connect with an ancient ocean predator and to see firsthand what it is like to be in their habitat. By doing so, a diver can have more influence on the preservation of sharks than they might realize. But it's the recreational divers, I think, who offer the liaison between the academic community that have chosen shark as a vocation and the general populace who really has no idea what's going on out in the oceans and in what state of dire peril shark populations are. And I think the ocean's health overall. You know, before I became a diver, I think my, my, my big fear, the thing I was scared of was being in the water with sharks. And now, now my fear is that I'll go on a dive and I'm not gonna see sharks. Whether you love them, fear them, or hate them, one thing remains true. The sand tiger shark deserves our respect and should be seen as one of many links to maintaining health and vitality in our world.